Hey you guys, what's up? It's Comic Saturday. Today's video, our topic is what it means to stick to your opponent. Okay, now in the martial art of Wing Chun, sticking is a very important concept. But a lot of people don't understand that and they end up screwing up a lot of things. Even very basic movements, okay. So, first of all, the concept of sticking to your opponent. Alright, now, um, you know, when, when I teach people, I show how you may do like a combination and then you might escape somehow, whatever, right? How, how to get out, right? And that's, that's true, okay? We train these things because you may need to, okay? Well, I mean, I'm sure you will need me to, okay? Um, because the opponent is going to throw things back at you and you have to know how to get out of the way and, 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 and escape to safety, okay? You may need to do that, all right? Um, but, okay... We, okay, we, we train these things in order so that we know how to do it, but it isn't our goal to do it. We, we, we don't want to escape. Our goal is to get in there and finish it. That's the goal. We know the, our velocity, right, is close a distance, take an angle, and then F them up, right? That's the goal. <clears throat> so how can you do that if you're thinking about escaping, okay? Now, if you need to escape, fine, all right? You need to do it, okay? But if the, uh, there's no need to escape and stay on the person, and finish it until it's done. That's the idea. You have to try to obliterate the person, okay? To finish him, to end him. That's the whole idea of Wing Chun. That's why it's, it's a very aggressive art, and uh, to be honest, you have to be a little nuts if you want to actually make it work, okay? And a lot of people simply don't have that in them, all right? So you have to become a bit of a psycho, and you have to really want to mess up your opponent. That's the only way you're ever gonna make this work, all right? So that's the reason why you want to stick to the uh, opponent, okay? So, when you talk about sticking to the opponent, it's not to, it's not the art, people think, because the arms are in contact with the opponent, people are thinking with the arms all the time. And yeah, the arms are involved, but it's not really your arm sticking to your opponent, it's, it's your center, it's your body, it's your core. That's what's actually sticking to the opponent, okay? So when we do movements, okay? I'm going to do a couple of exercises later where you can see the whole body and things, but I just want to show you a couple of things here with the dummy too, okay? So when you're turning, when you're turning, okay, I'm my center and my elbows are what's actually doing the work. All right, my my hands are. I mean, it's almost you could almost chop my arms off, okay, and I, I could still manage to to uh, control <laughs> the person because it's coming from the center, okay, it comes from the center. This it's the whole body. My whole body is is, is uh, you know, controlling the opponent, okay? And that's the idea, boom, okay? All right, and so when you think in those terms, um, it becomes very, it becomes a lot easier to stick the opponent. You know, you can even do this, all right? Even take your arms out completely, okay? And I'm here, okay? Well, I don't wanna be backing away, right? If I change angles, I wanna get closer, right? I'm gonna come here, Look, if I come here, I, I do a little slip there, okay, a little slip, okay, I just slip, look, I'm actually putting my shoulders towards the, the enemy here, just slip on the way, and I'm actually closer now, I'm sticking, okay, boom, boom, I may come in, and I'm, I'm still, I'm not running away, okay, if, if I, if I get out of the way here, if, if I get underneath a shot, or here, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer to you, right, I'm not running away, okay, I'm sticking to you. All right, so that's the the uh, the idea. You want to always try to 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 close in on the opponent and stick with them. And once you're in, once you've got that bridge, you keep that bridge. Like I said, if you need to escape, you escape. But that isn't your goal. All right, so um, I'm just gonna take one uh, movement from the dummy here. Wait a second. Okay, one movement from the uh, dummy. There you can see. Okay, so. There, um, each section of the dummy form finishes with this double jutsu and then the tok sao, like, like a lifting hand. Double jutsu and tok sao. <clears throat> but again, like I said, it's the body which is actually doing the work. It's not the arms. Okay, and I mean, it may, it may feel like the arms because the arms are moving, but really, your body is what's driving it. Look, look, look. I'm going to try to move the arms as little as possible. And it's still working. It's still working. See? <laughs> See, it's still working. But what I'm going to do, as I'm, I'm going down, and I'm going forwards and upwards. Down, and forwards and upwards. I'm not going up like this. 
right? It's going forwards and upwards. And doing that kind of drives me downwards a bit. Boom, boom. Like, like it, it roots me more. Boom, 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 boom. See? So when I do it here, look, my arms aren't even, my hands aren't even contacted. Some people do this. Okay? That's not the idea here, okay? You want to go here. Look, it's, it's my center, my elbow, it's my center. So I'll bring it down. And then I go forward, forward, and up, swing. You see, I'm I'm moving really well. I'm just going underneath and up. Boom, boom, boom. See, boom, boom. That's the idea. All right. Save time, save movement, save energy. That's the uh, principle uh, that we uh, use in uh, Wing Chun. Okay, the theories. Okay. Here's one. Well. One. Down, so down. use the body to, to come down, control, and use the elbows in the, in the center to come up and forward, up and forward. So I'm not coming up with that, right? <laughs> down, down, okay? All right, and incidentally, when you have your dummy, when you're in your seat, I'm standing up full height here. When I'm in a stance, my shoulders should be level with the arms. Okay, a lot of people, if you're up here and, and uh, if, if there's no change in your height between your regular stance, standing at full height and, and your fighting stance, there's something wrong. You need to get low. Okay, I should, I should, I said, said I, I need to, well, you go to your Yi Ji King Yama stance here, and that should put you in the right position. Okay, and then you're fighting, whatever, okay? But you're gonna be on that same height, okay? All right, so that's the, so, that's a drill we use to uh, stick to the opponent, okay? Very, very important, uh, you know, so again, right? So down here, and then down, and then forward up, okay? Now another drill I'm gonna show you is a full body. I'm gonna uh, change the camera angle in a second, okay? Hold on. Okay, so here's a drill involving uh, hands and feet, okay? It's a, a whole body drill. It's a little tricky, but just work at it, and uh, you'll see that uh, you can make it work after a little while, okay? And this, remember, the whole time you're doing this, you want to think about sticking to your opponent. You're not running away, okay? And the concept of sticking, just to show you, it's not all of the hands. We're going to bring in the feet as well, okay? And you stick with the feet too, all right? You stick with the whole body, because it's your center, right? Your legs are joined your center. It's your center moves around everywhere, right? That's the, uh, that's your kind of uh, prime mover, okay? All right, so when you when we do kick, kicking, one second, I gotta get this. Uh, I'm gonna bump my trampoline here. There we go. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay. All right. Now when we do the uh, uh, Wing Chun kicking, I, I think I'm, I did a video before, but uh, we have just think we have Tan Sao, Bong Sao, Tan Sao, Bong Sao. We also have Tan Gurk and Bong Gurk as well. Tan Gurk, Bong Gurk. So we could you do like a front kick? And a side kick, so it kind of follows it, okay? So that's the um, because we're going to do the front kick and side kick in this particular drill, okay? So you need to understand why we do that and then turn it over, okay? So the first part of the drill, I'm going to shift. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm going to shift here, okay? Wait, a minute, what the hell did I do? No, sorry, <laughs> that was the wrong drill. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. no. I'm gonna start here, okay, with a bong cell. Start with a bong cell, and then I will kick, and, and then uh, a, a lower kick. So, so start with a bong cell, kick, and then a side kick. See, so bong, kick, side kick. Now the thing is, okay, people see this, they're what, okay, what's going on here? I do this, I do that, and then I do that. Now why am I doing this with the hands? What's it for, right? Because, in Wing Chun, we have an expression. We say two legs are good, but three or legs are better. Okay? So if I can use my opponent for balance, for leverage, that's great. Okay, now of course, being in the air, I don't have anything, but I'm, I'm imagining that I have someone, and that will help train my balance and my structure. Okay? Now, you can do it with a dummy too, but um, it's better to uh, do it this way first because you learn the balance. If you, you rely on a dummy, you're just going to lean on it. Okay? And hang on to it. Huh? And you're not going to get much out of that, okay? So, I'm going to go, I'm going to start with a bong sao here, shift, do a tan sao as I do a front kick, and then I do 
a slow side pin with bong sound. And after that, one, two, three. And that, and that this kind of rolls into a back fist. Back fist, one, two, three, triple punch, okay? So here, so, so one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So when I do this, right, I have, okay, first I have this, I, I've got a bridge, okay? I still have a bridge. Now I still have a bridge, because I could be hanging on his arm here, right? I still got a bridge, and then I still got a bridge, because I'm coming, I come over, I do come here. This goes to the back fist while the controls, so boom, 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 okay? So you see, at no point am I running away, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm here, okay? Something comes in, oh, shit, all right? <laughs> okay, and that's kind of this bong that can be kind of an oh, shit moment. Something comes in, whoa, 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 shit, okay? And here I can kick, kick, boom, boom, boom. See, so this, this kind of drill helps you to understand that you want to stick to your point and always go forward. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this, I'm not, oh, oh, I'm not doing that, right? Greet what enters, escort what leaves is another concept, okay? In uh, Wing Chun, okay? So, I will go one, so I'm, I'm greeting what enters, it comes in, okay? But are we gonna let him get away with that? No, no, no. We greet what enters, and on the way, hey, let me show you the door, buddy. All right, and fuck you, okay? That's the idea, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> it's score what leaves, okay? <laughs> all right, so I'm coming in here, all right? Bong sao, front kick, what, side kick? One, two, three, yeah. Obviously, do the same thing on the other side, too. Okay, I'm just showing you on one side so you can get the, the hang of it. And then, after you can go to one side, do it on the other side, okay? Okay, so uh, one more time, okay? So, Bong Sao, there's the old shit, okay? I kick with a Tan Sao in front of kick, low side kick with a Bong Sao, and then back is one, two, three. One, two, three. So, and each time I do this, I have a, I have a, 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 a grip here. This is called the Bong Lap Sao. Right? I, Lap Sao is grabbed, I grab onto the hand, and I do a back fist. I have the back fist, boom, boom, boom. The other hands, boom, boom. All right, the other hands are controlling. As one hand goes back, control, other one goes forward. Boom, boom. Okay? Boom. One. Okay, so, come on. Boom. One, two, boom, boom, boom. Now that front kick can be any height, I mean, it can be knees, it can be low, it can be groin, okay? What you wouldn't, what you wouldn't want to do is kick really high, okay? Um, but honestly, at, at that range, you probably go for the knees. I just like to kick a little higher because it's better to train your root and your balance and things. But in reality, if, I, if I'm kicking, I, I'm taking your knees out, okay? Um, possibly you're growing, but uh, I'm 10 to 1 I'm going for your knees if I'm kick, kicking at all, okay? So boom, 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 okay? And there you go. So uh, yeah, two uh, drills. You have this uh, one here. This, Jut sal and talk sal, and then you get this one. Okay, so I'll work on those, and uh, you know I, these should help uh, train the principles of sticking to the opponent. Okay, and once again, it's so 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 important. You know, many people who do Wing Chun they don't understand these basic principles. Okay, I've said it before many many times. The secret in Wing Chun, the key. I, I don't want to say secret, okay, but I'm going to say the 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 key to Wing Chun uh, or any martial art is not knowing. Um, it's, 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 it's not focusing on the fancy techniques and things like that. It's understanding the basic, the basic principles, the basic techniques. Okay, all right, and and that and that's it. Okay, um, in, in, you know, uh, uh, people who try and, and dazzle you with with the flashy techniques, I mean, they're just trying to smoke screen you and hide the fact that they actually don't know what they're doing. Okay, this kind of basic, basic stuff is not very really flashy looking. Okay, really is something. Just the basic hand, boom, boom, one, two, three, and then this kind of thing. Yeah, I know it's a little, may, may not look special, okay, but I'm telling you, okay, this will make a big difference in your understanding, okay, and how your Wing Chun will actually work. All right, a lot of people out there, they're just they don't know what the hell they're doing. Okay, I've seen people using the wooden dummy and the, and and they'll uh, do a movement here, come way back here, and then come back in, way back here, come back in. Okay, that is completely in violation of the principles, okay? So, all right, there you go. Uh, there's your uh, drills for the, for the uh, week, Kama Saturday, 
Any questions, as always, let me know, and I'll see you guys soon.